morning, happy Tuesday. So, one of my favorite things to do is study and learn history behind different things. And one of my favorite things are names. Because I have a different name, Katriana, which is a made up name for my mom because she liked the name Katrina. Anyways, I digress. One of my favorite things to do in the Bible when I study is find out the meanings of people's names and then see how their character was. One of my favorite things is when God changes someone's name and it's recorded in the Bible like Abraham. That wasn't his original name, it was Abram. Not a huge change, right? But there is someone in the Bible who tried to change their own name. And it's in my favorite story because of her. And that book is the book of Ruth and it's about her mother-in-law, Naomi, whose name means my pleasure. She was a mom, she was a wife, she was a mother-in-law, right? And she was great at those things. But then everyone dies, her sons die, her husband dies, her daughter-in-law decides to stay in Moab, but Ruth stayed, right? We all know this, or those of us who know the story know this. Naomi was a pleasure, but when they got back to Bethlehem, she told people, no, my name is Mara now. Bitterness, she was bitter. But God didn't acknowledge that. Like the next verse, still calling her Naomi, because that's who he made her to be. He made her to be a pleasure and not bitter. Not bitter, one bit. So as we go on through the story, she's helping Ruth, helping Boaz. She is like the background person getting all these things done. And from there we get David and we get Jesus from that line. Amazing. Anyways, what I wanted to tell you is that just because you feel like you're going through a hard time does not mean that God does not still need you to be who you are. Don't lose who you are, you guys. You were created for such a time as this in the generation we're living in right now, and he has an amazing work for you to do. So just remember, you're struggling, pray about it, write it down, take it to the Lord in prayer called you to be something don't try and change who you are based off of your circumstances he made you perfect he made you beautiful he stitched you in your mother's womb just the way you are so don't be like naomi today in trying to change who you are based off your circumstances make your circumstances work for you and still be the beautiful person god made you